Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Crucial Farms. My name is Patrick, and today we are gonna fight some bugs. Well, maybe not like this. Seriously, guys, in today's video, we're not gonna machete any plants. We're not gonna get rid of anything yet. Okay, that might be later in the season if we have diseases, but this will also help with that. But this morning, it's been almost two weeks since I put out my first tomato plants. We're going on two weeks anyway. And I noticed this morning some looked like some black gnats and maybe a couple aphids on my tomato plants. So we're gonna get rid of them the natural way. So the first thing you need, you need a spray bottle. Uh, this one I just picked up, but it's 32 ounces. It was like three bucks at Home Depot. Uh, I also have this guy that, uh, I'm, depending on how far this goes, I might end up doing this one on the next time because this guy is 56 ounces and he is a different kind of spray. So you kind of just hold the button down and you'll have pump spray action. So anyway, for the recipe, you're going to need a tablespoon and we're going to do a tablespoon of Crisco Pure Vegetable Oil, a tablespoon of Dawn Ultra, just regular Dawn, not the super concentrated kind, just the regular one and a tablespoon of pure baking soda and then fill the rest of the spray bottle with water. Now, I guess if I was doing this, I'd probably do a tablespoon and a half if I was doing the bigger jug. Uh, these things just are really stupid, so let's just throw that one over there because we're not using it right now. Also, the most important part of probably all this is a Sharpie because labeling bottles that you've used for one thing so you don't use it for another, that's, it's, it's, a really, it's a really smart thing to do. So let's go ahead and just, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's, Let's try to mix this up and see what happens here. Uh huh. So we'll get a tablespoon of baking powder. I'm going to use my hand here to coax it in like a funnel because I don't have one. But these are all safe chemicals, so you don't need to wear gloves or anything like that. Just you know, wash your hands after. Don't eat it. So mostly in there, okay? Then we're gonna take a tablespoon of mild uh, dishwashing detergent. Not the kind that goes in the dishwasher, the kind that you hand wash your dishes. Okay, and we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna carefully pour him in. Science! Now apparently this spray will just make it not taste good, make it undesirable. Uh, also, with certain bugs, it can give them diarrhea, which will make them constipated, which will make them die. You know, they'll get diarrhea and, de diarrhea and get dehydrated and die. Yes. Also, uh, there's things like uh, you can sprinkle flour on some plants, and that will uh, cause them to be backed up from eating the flour. So then one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Let's hope we can do this as good. Missed a little. That's okay. And it's just a tiny little drop, so we'll just put a tiny little drop back in here. No problem. Alrighty, I'm gonna set that down right here. Cap this guy so it doesn't spill everywhere. Give that a quick mixing. Paper towels right here. Go ahead and wipe off the side of this jug. Wipe off my workbench. Trash can. Okay, now with the jug of water, I'm going to go ahead and just pour in to the top and make sure once you put the lid on, the sprayer part, to give it a really, really good shake. Let those bubbles go down a little. All right, and let's uh, shake this up and go out to the plants and see what is going on and see if we can see any bugs before we get rid of them. All these things are natural and gentle on your plants, so you won't have to worry about harming them. Uh, I'm going to do it about twice a week only. Make sure it's three to four days apart so that the, you, know, you don't change the chemistry of the plant by adding too many of this label. We'll put it right here and put bug spray. Bug spray. Not for drinking. So, all mixed. 
all good. Almost all mixed. Let's see what's happening here on the bottom. Alrighty. We got a good mix. Make sure the nozzle will spray. We don't want to strain. We want a spritz. Kind of like that. Mmm, smells good. All right, let's head out to the plants. Okay, now that we're out here in the field, let's take a look at this plant right here. And we can see if we get really close. Here's a bug right there. And let's give them a squirt. And they are gone. So go ahead and I'm gonna squirt all these plants and give them a light mist of this and make all these bugs leave. So if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and let me know how it's working for you and how are your farms and gardens doing. We'll see you next time here on Crucial Farms. <laughs> bye bye. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Ah, ah, ah. This is this, hey, this is here, hey.